So, on Amazon, I saw lots of listings for very cheap, and I mean like two to five dollar USB to serial adapters. I got this one for five bucks. Most of the listings were for two, but they were shipping from China, so I got one that had Amazon Prime shipping, and um, as you can see, this seems to be a basic USB to serial adapter, and inside here you can actually see the chip and circuitry that converts it from serial to USB. Now the problem with this is, is that one, it came in a cheap Ziploc bag, and two, it came in the baggie with just a disc. Now, it's funny because it says it's 25 minutes, 225 megabytes, and that it's recordable. But if you flip it around, it's clearly not a recordable disc. It looks more like a um, press CD than a recordable CD. So, it was in a Ziploc bag with just these two things and no instructions. However, I found out that the drivers were on the disc and you actually had to go into the folder where it was labeled 340 Win7 driver or something and get them there. On Linux, however, the driver is already in the OS and it works out of the box. Now, I mainly got this because this has Windows drivers while my other USB to serial adapter does not have drivers for new versions of Windows, only old ones. So. I decided to, I mean it worked on Linux, but not on Windows, so I decided to get this because I knew this would work on Linux, of course, but probably also newer versions of Windows. And does it work? Well, let's find out. So first things first, the cable socket now. Both of these have ends that screw in to a device. However, this is supposed to be a socket, while well, this is supposed to be the plug, so you can't actually screw them in though, you just have to plug it in and hope it stays connected. And to see what serial devices work, I'm going to plug in this null modem cable into an old HP Visualize workstation that can boot from a serial cable. Now keep in mind this will also work with Cisco devices as well if it works with this and I think many people would be buying these to use them with Cisco devices and other kinds of devices that have it's either null modem connectors or even just other serial devices like programming, for example. So as you can see here, the device is showing up on the PC as USB-serial CH340 COM4. I had to install the drivers from the disk, but as you can see it works now, at least according to Windows, and it's letting me change the serial port settings. So, I'm going to open up a PuTTY connection on COM4, and as you can see, I've got this cheap adapter connected to the null modem cable, which is currently connected into this HP Visualize C3000 workstation. Now, these can boot from serial, kind of like a Cisco workstation can. So it's currently doing its self tests as you can see from the display. Now it's doing test graph and so and so, so I'm going to move it back here and what do you know? It works. So, as you can see, it's actually letting me see the output of the system connected to this cheap serial adapter. Firmware version 5.0, 95, 2000 HP company, all rights reserved, boot paths, processor is booting from first available device, boot terminated, so I can go type in information. Um, Let's try PR. So I can type in uh, memory. Two gigs.
Now I'm going to type in boot. B O. No. Let's type in. That's strange that it didn't boot. So I'm going to issue it a reset. Watch it reboot. And what I'm trying to do here, you'll see in a second, but. As you can see, I am actually using this system from the serial port because this cheap serial adapter is working. And also, it takes less time to boot and get ready than a Cisco switch does, which is why I'm using it here. Attempting to boot primary path, alternate path. Have to be scuzzy. Bootable device found. And what do you know? It's finally booting this up. As you can see, look at it. It's booting Linux. Over the serial cable. Welcome to Debian Ginu slash Linux 8 Jesse. So as you can see. This is a cheap serial adapter, and if you're just trying to administer a system, this just works. So, there you have it. This cheap $5 serial adapter from Amazon was worth it. So, there you have it. A basic review of it.